Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Ryan or Darwin Design here, and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to recreate this uh, De Mornay Pearsonell wallpaper. Um, this is actually something I did when I was freelancing with the uh, St. Louis Battlehawks. So this was an official like wallpaper Wednesday for the uh, for the XFL team. Um, since then, obviously, the league got discontinued, but uh yeah i actually think it turned out pretty nice and um so i want to show you guys how how i uh, went about making it uh similar to the last video it's gonna be more of a walkthrough just for time's sake but um i'll i'll include the uh the psd in the description um so you guys can get a little i guess a more hands-on like a better idea of how how i uh, went about making it so uh, i just start off with a solid gradient black or uh, color background um just blue here and I threw some blending options on so inner shadow glow uh, stuff like that like a little gradient um, and then I threw some shapes so this is really where all the background action is at um, I just got an X and I curved it and to curve it you could just here I'll just make a uh, copy to, to show you guys go to filter uh, yeah camera raw filter and once this loads up go to optics Distortion, you can go 100, but you're gonna to want to go plus 100. And you can see it'll bend, kind of like that. So that's how I made that. Um, and then I just enlarged it so it filled the whole frame, and put it on a lower opacity or in fill, and uh, changed the uh, blend mode to vivid light, and then multiply for another inner uh, X um, to uh, to add some value. And then I threw a star in there, put it on divide. And then added another one, made it a little bit lighter, and put that one on divide as well. So this is just to have a little something going on in the background, nothing too crazy, just playing with blend modes. Um, uh, sorry about that, but next up is text. So uh, yeah, just start off with a very basic rectangle. Um, I left, I cut it like a little hole open, which is where I put the the stars. But um, just Pierce and Elf, that's his last name. Fill up the uh, the box behind him, and I put the Mornay right here. Very simple stuff. The font is a Tusker Grotesque, one of my favorite fonts. I use that all the time. And uh, just some reg uh, regular like blending options again. Just nothing crazy. Just a little gradient, inner glow, inner shadow. Um, and then I threw on a little hue saturation layer to uh, to change the color. So yeah, that's that. Really simple stuff. And then I put his position and his number. Just as a little subtle thing to fill some space. Stars go here in the back. Pretty self-explanatory. Didn't do anything to these. Just put them in a line, resize them, and now we get to the mask. Okay, so similar, similar to uh, my last few tutorials, start off with the shadows, then I put a skin and uh, the main mask, and then I wanted to add some color in there. So I got a just I sampled the blue from his jersey. You just press I, hold I, click. It'll bring up the eyedropper tool, and that becomes your primary color here. And you can just press G and click in a new layer and it'll fill it. So as that, put that on linear dodge. And then I lowered the fill. Um, and I just kind of went along his edges, as you can see. Just kind of highlighting him throughout. And then I went through and I added curves and brushes. This is a darker curve to uh, bring out the darks. And a lighter one to bring out the lights. Same with these. This is just a solid black and a solid white layer. This one's on overlay. Lower the opacity of these two. And um, that's that. I already went over this a little bit more in depth in my last tutorial. So if you're a little confused here, you can check that out for some more information on that. Now this is just a text stroke. So to do this, um, since of the the last name text, I'll get this. I'll merge it. I'll bring it up here. All right. So essentially, oops, so essentially what I did here is just to get this little outline. This white outline here, you want to go into the text, go to blending options, go to stroke. I set that to white or whatever color you want it really. Size to one. Okay. Fill to zero and then convert it to a smart object. They can see here you get that little white outline. And then um, I'm going to go here and select the mask. Hold control and click that and it'll create a selection around that. Go over this uh, text stroke and click on the blending mask. Or the uh, the layer mask, sorry, and um, as you can see, that only fills that now. It's supposed to following all around. So, then I lower the opacity a little bit so it doesn't distract too much from him. Just a little subtle thing. And that's that. And then we get to CC uh, color correction. So this was pretty basic. Um, I started off with some gradients, 
overlay, multiply, color dodge, and lighter color. Pretty basic, just bring out lights and darks here. Um, I, I'm not going too in-depth, but as I said, the PSD is going to be in the description, so you can come and get a little bit more in-depth uh, yourself. Uh, these are the same curves I was using earlier, basically just get, or, uh, putting the lights and darks throughout. Same thing, but this one's more so like the whole design as opposed to just the mask. Uh, and then I got some color lookups, which are just up here. Then cycle through here and play with blend modes. Got Kodak and Fuji or Fuji, however the hell you pronounce that. And I got altering, selective color. And I just brought up the blues and the reds a little bit. Um, I can see here that, that blue looked a little bit like faded and I just made it a little darker. So then I up the vibrance so it's a little bit brighter. And that's that uh, black and white high contrast. So to get this, I'm gonna bring this out of here. I'll just leave it there, I guess. All right, so I'm gonna select all these layers here. Control J, merge. All right, I'm gonna go to camera raw. And then go to presets, black and white, high contrast. Okay. And I'm gonna bring it back in here. And I'm gonna just copy my layer style. It's on a, what was it, darker color and then 90, 95. So you want it to be pretty apparent. And then as you can see here, I don't know, I like this little effect it gives it. Um, obviously I don't want to leave it like that, <laughs> but, uh, I'm gonna make it fend just a, or blend just a little bit. And then I, I like that little, uh, desaturation it has on the skin and it gives it a little bit more value. So that's that there. And then final touch, gotta have that team watermark and that's that. So let's get it here. Same thing. All good in the hood. Thank you guys for watching. A <laughs> very quick walkthrough, but uh, as I said, PSD is going to be in the description. Um, so I'll have that available to download, probably be on Google Drive or something. I'm not too sure. But uh, yeah, so go down there, download that if you want to check this out yourself. Um, let me know if this helped. If you have any questions, drop them down below or message me on IG. I got all my socials in the description. So that's that. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate your support, and uh, I'm going to catch you on the next one. Deuces.